Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch. It is the first Tuesday of the month, and you regulars know what that means. It is time for Unreal Christmas in May. Every month, Unreal Engine gives away five free assets for Unreal Engine developers, and this month is no different. So we're going to jump right in. We have a lot of environments today. So if you like environments like I do, uh, this is a great month. If you're not that into environments, maybe a bit less of a month. This first one here we've got here is the Modular Sci-Fi Indoor-Outdoor Environment Pack. Obviously, we are looking at the outdoor side of things right now, so if you need to have like a, a colonized alien worlds type uh, sci-fi base. That is what this one is all about. Again, it is a modular kit for creating basically moon bases. Uh, there are also interiors, but they're in a different level. So let's go ahead and check that guy out as well. Now, one thing I do find is the interior level, the lighting in it is just way too dark. And I don't know if this is like a an Unreal Engine version thing or what's going on there, but uh, as you can see, uh, definitely a darker environment. But what I could do is I can go over here uh, to the post-process volume, right, so, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the ambient cube map, just this guy right here, intensity up, and we'll pick a cube map. So you get an idea of the environment with a little bit less mood lighting going on, and you get an idea of what this guy is all about. So again, indoor and outdoor assets for creating this moon-based style environments. So we're gonna just go here, you can see the overview scene of the asset right here and all of the stuff you're getting. So everything you need to create indoor and outdoor space interior and sets is what's in the modular sci-fi indoor outdoor environment. Next up we have what is probably my favorite asset this month. It is the Tokyo stylized environment. This is a stylized environment of Tokyo. The name is uh, well named. Uh, so you see here, it, it's basically a hyper dense urban uh, landscape of uh, modern day Tokyo, maybe slightly future Tokyo. Uh, but definitely a nice looking asset here. I think it's entirely exteriors, right? So nothing inside of any of these things. Again, modular base. We'll go ahead and check out what the overview assets look like in this one as well. And you can see everything that goes together to create this guy. Um, wait for the textures to load in in just a second. Hmm, that's everything they're showing. So obviously there's some things missing from their demo from the actual level because I'm not seeing like a lot of the signs and such that we saw from the other environment. Like if I go back... Over here to Tokyo itself, a lot of the these things weren't showing up. The sign front is, is and such aren't showing up. So for some reason, that asset overview is a little limited in what it's actually showcasing. Uh, so this one, you're going to tell what you get more or less from the, uh, the overall demo environment right here. But again, like I said, stylistically, probably my favorite of the environments today. And next time, we're going to move to a non-environment asset. This one is the Advanced Flock System. This one actually installs as an Unreal Engine plugin. If you need to do flocking situations like uh, birds or uh, fish kind of thing, that is what this is all about. You can actually see it. There is a demo video showcasing this guy. Uh, let me just mute the sound on it so you get an idea of what it's all about. So if you need to have all kinds of uh, flocking animals in your scene, that is what uh, this one is implemented as. Again, this is an Unreal Engine plugin. There is no demo project to go with it. That's why I am showcasing uh, this video instead. So that is the uh, advanced flock system. Next up, we have the replicated grab system. This one is a pretty straightforward system for uh, handling grabbing things in your game world. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the demo level as an example. We got a couple different objects here. For example, we have objects with a different throw power. So if I throw that guy, it's mild and so on. And then we've got other things here, like this is an auto snappable object. So I could actually take it. And then when I come close to a wall, like so I go and snap, my Oop, that's throw. All right, let's grab you back over here, get it onto the wall and snap. So you can snap things in place like so. We also have other objects, examples. I could grab this guy, and this actor is special in that I'm grabbing and dragging it, but it can't actually uh, push other actors. So if I hit this cone, for example, you see we're gonna, we're gonna warp around it. Same thing, I hit this other cube, we're gonna bounce around it. Same over here, can't interact with them. We're just gonna uh, go around it until I cause some issues here. So we throw things. And this guy, again, is an example of an actor that can't push other actors. So if you need to do uh, grabbing in your game world, interacting with objects, that is what this is all about. Again, uh, you got the snapping objects and the interactable objects, auto-rotating objects, and so on and so forth. So that is the replicated grab system. And our final asset is even more environments. And basically, this isn't one asset, it's six. It's the environment bundle. There are six different environments here. Uh, so here you can see the first one we are checking out. This is the treehouse. I don't know why it's called that, but uh, you can see kind of a, 
a creepy forest setup environment. I guess it's like a treehouse for a maniacal squirrels. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, what this first environment is. Next up, we have the Tomato City. Now, this one is interesting in that the level seems to be missing. So uh, when you actually go and look at the level for it, this is all you're getting. And if you look at the page for it, it actually has a detailed level, but for some reason, it's not here. But you get an idea from seeing the assets that you could build with it. It is kind of a, another forest environment uh, with a tomato-based treehouse, I guess you could say. A number of trees, etc. you could use in your own environment. Again, the level for that one does seem to be missing. The next one is quite substantially different. Uh, this is Neon City, and we're going to go ahead and check that one out. This is your typical, um, you know, cyberpunk-esque environment. A lot of neon going on here. Um, yeah, so... If you need to have a cyberpunk environment, you basically got this alley to work with right here. Again, everything is modular, so you have a variety of different assets you could work together. So if you want to mix and match this into other projects, you easily could do so. So if you're trying to create, again, a cyberpunk style game, uh, this one would be a useful pickup for you. Uh, next step, we have Hell Cage. Uh, so this one is here, uh, and it's um, kind of a dungeon environment, a 4G style dungeon. Um, so you can see everything involved in that one right here. I do believe there is a hallway you can go down. There are some uh, locked doors and portcullises, etc. So that is the Hell Mouth or Hell Hell Cage. Uh, then we got the Forgler map. Uh, let's go check that one out quickly. So again, this last bundle is basically got uh, six different environment sets in, all modular, uh, very different genres in terms of uh, what are supported. And this is the Foglar environment. I have no idea what Foglar means, and I don't really know what this is meant to be. Um, it's sort of, I don't know, it's not really Egyptian, but uh, yeah. So if you know what that word means, you probably have a better idea what this environment is meant to be. But it, it's sort of a, an ancient Byzantine type city or environment there. And then the final one we've got here also has some lighting issues. This is the engine room. So let's go ahead and open that one up. And we'll do demo one here. And this is the inside of a sci-fi engine room. And like I said, some serious level environment, uh, some lighting issues here. I do think they changed their lighting uh, setup between versions. Uh, so we kind of get this v vastly different lighting in the earlier or later versions. So if I come down here uh, and change exposure, we can get... Get a bit more of a view of what the environment's all about. I think I went way too, yeah, we're going to way overexpose there. So let's go back to, say, three. So you can see this environment, uh, again, it's like a an engine room on a, I don't know what you would call this. It, it's sort of like cyberpunk, but it's also a little post-apocalyptic-y. Um, very specialized, I suppose you could say, environment. Uh, but yeah, that's what this one is all about. Again, the default lighting on it was very, very dark. And that probably if I opened this one up in like Unreal Engine 5, it wouldn't be so much so. But uh, that's just something we're dealing with with the newer versions of Unreal. And you can see the outside version, the landscape. And we'll check out how that looks. Uh, okay, uh, this seems to be a, a project that... Uh, it does nothing. I have no idea why this is actually in here. So yeah, we'll just ignore the landscape and move on from there. And here you can see uh, all the assets that we used in creating that guy uh, modular setup. So uh, the organizer of this mod uh, pack, this uh, set of environments, this maps bundle, seems to be a little sloppy in his organization because this one has an extra level in it. And the other one, the Tomato City, is completely missing its demo level. But as you saw, you're getting six different environments, all very modular in nature, uh, to cap off this pack. So if you really look at it, this pack has the modular sci-fi indoor and outdoor, the Tokyo, and this is six pack of different environments here. So if you are an environments fan, you got a ton to love this week. If you're more into uh, blueprints and plugins, a little bit less so. And if you wanted character models or animations, nothing here for you. So again, quick recap here. And the way this works, again, is buy these before the first Tuesday of next month. They are yours to keep forever. When I say buy, I mean it's $0. So for this month, the price tag will drop down to $0 uh, until the first Tuesday of June. Uh, once you've purchased them, they are yours forever. So even if you are not using Unreal Engine now, just keep, uh, air quotes, buying this stuff. Uh, and it will just keep building up your library. My, my library of Unreal Engine assets I didn't pay for is absolutely staggeringly large after covering these things for a couple of years now. So... 
again, we had the modular sci-fi indoor outdoor environment pack. We had the Tokyo stylized environment. I would say this one is my favorite this month. I'm curious, what is your favorite? Uh, then we've got the advanced flock system. This one is a code plugin that installs to the engine itself for doing, again, flocking. Uh, they used uh, fish in this example. They can have attacks in there uh, and so on. So you can have up to 5,000 fish instances running at 120 plus frames per second. Uh, but I don't know why you would dedicate your entire game to uh, rendering fish unless that was specifically what your game was all about. Uh, then we got the replicated grab system again uh, for handling various different uh, features of grabbing. So you can uh, rotation mode available. You can reset the rotation, zoom the item back and forth, limit the back and forth zoom distance, adjust the speed when releasing the grabbed item, adjust the throwing speed or the, of the grabbed item. You can snap the grabbed actor except for other grabbable actors. You can change the overlap material. You can change the system throw power. So if you need to have a grabbing system in your game, this one is implemented as blueprints if you are curious. And then finally, we have the environments bundle, which is a set of six different environments uh, in action. So if I go through here again, there is the Tomato City. So this is the one that's just completely missing. So I have no idea where that level is, uh, but you're getting all the assets that are used to create it. So if you want to recreate it yourself, you can do so. So that is this month's free Unreal Engine stuff. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.